I'm going to be demonstrating the Easy Portfolio Site Creator script. And this script has been designed to take away the difficulty and the time it takes to manage and curate portfolio items for your class. The way you utilize the script is by going to the website, the pegeekapps.com slash site builder. Alternatively, you can install the site builder app in the Google Chrome store. Once you visit the page, you're going to be asked to authorize the app to run. This is an absolute requirement in order to give it the access to your Google Drive and Google site to create the portfolio for you. Hit authorize and you'll be prompted um, to accept the following permission statement. Once you've accepted it, it'll take you to a screen where you are taken through the portfolio creation process. At this point, it's important to mention that in order for this to actually work, you need to have a particular easy portfolio structure set up in your Google Drive. If you have a look at my Google Drive here, I've got a folder called Easy Portfolio, and if I open that, there is a folder in there called PE Class. You can have a number of other folders here that are considered classes. Inside of that folder, I have a folder for each of the students. You can have as many of these folders as you like. If you click on that folder, you can see here that there are documents and images, etc., that are associated with those students. So the structure is a folder called Easy Portfolio, a folder for your class, and then folders that are associated to your students. Inside of the student folders, you can have as much media, video, images as you like. Once you've got that designated setup, this screen is what you need to proceed with. You start by giving your site a name. I'm going to call it Portfolio Pages 2013. And all I need to do at this point is hit Create. Now depending on the amount of folders and media you have, it will, it will take a little bit longer. However, for a very short uh, and small portfolio related content, you can see it's going to be produced very, very quickly. It is called Easy Portfolio after all. Now once this particular um, process has been done, as you can see here, it's, it's completed now, it will say Site Creation Complete. You have one option, which is View, and it will take you to your newly created site. Now you'll see here that the website has taken on board the name Portfolio Pages. We have a home screen here, which is very clearly um, able to be edited like any other Google site. We have a class arrangement here, and if we had other classes, they would appear. And if we clicked on that, we could, um, in fact, put some information there about that particular class. And if we click on a student, for example, Jared, we can see here that we have two documents that were contained within the Dropbox that that student, I mean the Google Drive that student had. If there were more content, then they would all appear as a list. Now, depending on the name that you assign to that particular um, document is obviously what is reflected inside of this page. At this point, the student can be given permission to their page and their page only, and they can go ahead and edit and manipulate um, the links and put explanations surrounding the artifacts that are inside of their portfolio. They can save it and those changes will be made um, to the site. Any changes that occur inside of the particular folder for Jared will also be reflected on the site. So if you add more content to this portfolio, that will automatically be added to the Google site and that process will happen for all students and all folders. At any time if you want to remove content the same process will also occur. So the Google Google portfolio or Easy Portfolio Sites Builder has been made to definitely automate that whole curation and the upload procedure that takes place inside of Google Sites. This becomes a platform for you to showcase the content. These links, when they're available on the site, are also made public so that 
when clicked, they can be viewed by anyone. So it's a perfect way to share your portfolio with parents. At this point, it's worth mentioning that the, the web app has been designed to work perfectly with the Easy Portfolio app. Now, it is currently available for iPhone and Android devices. And when exported via Google Drive, it automatically creates this structure. So utilize the app, then get it into Google Drive, export, and you'll have a nice site that sits there like this for presentation. Alternatively, don't use the app, create the folder structure, run the Google site script, and you'll have the same outcome. There you go. Hopefully you can find the Easy Portfolio site tool useful. It's certainly something that I am going to make a lot of use of and I hope that um, you can find it as a means to cut down your curation time. Thank you.